Miles, your boy, on comms for Encore Winners Finals here. We got zero to none versus Gatsby. I, I cannot tell you why ZTN is playing Falcon, but I mean, here we are. Bro, if ZTN wins this set, I, I don't know what Gabo's gonna do, bro. That, that's, that'll be ridiculous if ZTN wins it. Okay. Gabe takes the first sock there with the reverse off bear. Kind of Falcon and, and Gatsby Classic as a whole. It's a really nice... It's a, I, I like seeing that move, honestly. I like using it as a Falcon. When I play Falcon, like it, it's sick. It doesn't combo as well as you're seeing right now with this off bear, but the move has so much versatility. One of the Falcon's best moves for sure. If not his best move. I, I don't know what Falcon means to say his best move is. Up is probably up there for sure, though. Okay. So this is a best of five, by the way. So I, I don't know if Brandon's going to go Falcon the entire set. If that's the case, power to him, but... If, if he's not committed to the Falcon the entire set, I do expect the character switch into a Zelda. Maybe the Robin we just saw beat Cody last set, perhaps, after this game. Right now, though, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of gassing it a little bit because this game is pretty close. Um, Gabe is, is up there. And they're, they're both up in like crazy. I don't know. Big up beat. Oh, you can't shield on that platform against Falcon. No shot. Not for three anyway. The Falcon up smash and, and up B, the shield in there is, is a little, a little scary at times. I'm not gonna hold you. Bang. Bang. Oh, try to catch the potential air dodge there into the platform with the landing up which could have spelled doom for ZTN, but ZTN said, I'm good. I'm chilling. Evening the sock count right back up. So now we have a last sock game, and Brandon's already bringing this into a, more of a, a lot more of an even sphere. Uh, I don't know, though. Okay. Dash attack. Trades with the weak knee with Falcon back air, and that's going to be game one. That's going to be game one for Gosh today. Good stuff. Again, I really want to know, like, what compelled this Falcon choice? Was, it, was this... Agreed upon before the set was a spur of the moment thing by Brandon. I I couldn't tell you, but we're here now. As I kind of expected. I, honestly, I didn't expect it. I figured we'd see the, the Falcon the whole set, to be honest. But now we can see the tried and true zero to none Zelda out in the fray, almost getting beat out of the fray by that Gabe up smash. That up smash at the corner of the PS2 platform, specifically kind of patented by Gabe at, at Xeno a couple weeks back, where he hit, I believe, Mega and maybe even BB with a similar read there. It, it's seeming to be a good Falcon option as a whole. Um, up smash being just a, a massive suction hitbox and killing at ridiculous percent. So I, I like the idea there for sure by Gabe. But right now, game two looking a little more, a little more even, I'd say. Granted, last game was, was last dodge to, to give Granted his credit. Uh, but it feels as though Brandon's not really like fighting for control. He, he he's playing it a lot more at his tempo because he, he's typically a player that plays characters like Zelda, uh, Robin, trap characters that aren't necessarily moving as fast as Falcon. As you can see, Gabe running circles around this PS2 stage. Zelda not really a character capable of doing that. Maybe the Phantom can, but not Zelda herself. Oh, we got some rolls in the we got some rolls in this. Woo! Build the roll being a really good option for her. Kind of like her one of her best movement options would be. She's so so stationary as a character. It's hard to really get places with her, especially with her terrible dash speed. Ooh, fair out of shield. And now we have Gabe in a lift trap position. That's not going to do it. Okay. That's chill. I guess we up. Oh my god, that damage is ridiculous. 
He's at 40. Oh my god, game's at friggin' on the 80%. How did that do so much damage? That move is ridiculous. That move is insane. Who balanced that move? I hate it. I hate Falcon. I'm smashing the fuck with, with a passion. Oh my god. Ooh, my god. That was crazy. 49% after that. I don't know what that. I don't know where. We need to get started after that smash, but jeez. And now Gatsby with a huge lead on the last stock of game two here. Ooh, that was cute. Near to reverse there. I like that. There on the normal getup. Gabe really opting to not go off stage against a character like Zelda. Something we're not necessarily used to seeing out of Gatsby. Usually the, the edge guard master of sorts, but right now committing to the ledge trap she has on Zelda, who ha is, again, like I said, mentioned before, a stationary character. Her, she has her roll, she has her jump, but her air speed and ground speed both poor. So having Zelda in the corner, generally not not that bad, to be honest. Really not that bad. Um, so here we go, 2-0 for Gatsby. T10's gonna have to dig deep to find the reverse he probably wants. I, I don't know if he's gonna get it though, because Gabe, Gabe on, on this day has been performing Exceptionally well, I'll say. Beating some people that you wouldn't expect. You wouldn't expect guys to normally beat. Um. Damn. That up smash would be crazy. I don't know if you can true combo out of up smash, but at low percent it puts you into a position where you get an up air, get a ton of damage. ZTN. Big time momentum on this first stock though, and it's the first time we've really seen him with the lead and Zelda with the lead, and th that those two combined make for a very scary unit, a turret of a character, I'd like to say. So let's see how he can operate in this in this new space of sorts. Not really that well right now. Gabe is kind of cooking. I'm not gonna hold you. Like just mixing Zelda as a whole, she's a character that doesn't have the, the frame data, the buttons to really deal with Falcons. Sick pressure, to say, to say the least, but. Once you get away, Zelda does have some buttons to keep Falcon out, which Brandon was doing such a great job of, but then jumps into a Gatsby up smash at the ledge. Potentially an overcommitment when, when ZTN had a, a pretty large lead here, and now Gabe finally taking Zelda off of that first stock about a minute into this game. Up e. Get the eye on that move. That move, if you DI it poorly, ridiculous kill power, but fortunately, in most scenarios, it's pretty easy to DI. Although there are scenarios where Zelda can kind of cross up that up B, and similar to like Luigi's doing down, you'll see Guy Guy sometimes in the arc on first two, do down through down, be mixed up people's DIs. I believe Zelda can do a similar thing with her up B, but we're not going to see it right there. Um, but the first. Major lead he's had this, this set for sure. And like I said, you take that first stock, it gives you great position for the rest of the game. And right now, Brandon's right, running with it. Already has Gabe at 48, 38% in his last stock. Not a ton of extra credit against a character like Falcon there, because Captain Falcon, oh my gosh. Combos into knee, combos into down air, even back air, a, a deep air off stage character. You really got some obscene percent. So if you don't get a ton of extra credit, your games are going to look pretty scary. Like right now in game three of Winter's Finals at Encore, Gabe only 38% on him as he's trying to close out this set. What can he do? Can he close? Can he really close? A 30? On his day? Sojin's Kama's day? Oh no. Big time side, big time down beat. Gatsby gonna recover. A smash? Yes. There you go. So ZTN on the board. 2 1 set. Completely doable. If you win, if you can win one, you can win two. And if you can win two, you can win three. That's the way I see it. That doesn't mean it's gonna be easy, because. Coming back from a 2-0 deficit really, really hard in this game against a character, that, against a player, the cal caliber of Gatsby, but. ZTN is definitely capable of pulling something like a reverse zero off. So let's see, game three, game four rather, did not see the counter pick. PS2, we're going to divide her. We're going to have an all PS2 set. Gatsby liked the PS2, of course, for Falcon. Um, a good stage for extending his combos, and he kind of gets to let his, his legs run free, so to speak. There's a lot of space, and 
see this character that moves a lot, giving him more room to move can be dangerous sometimes. So I think Gatsby kind of likes PS2 for that reason. I like PS2. I, everyone likes PS2 realistically. Honestly, no. The, the, the narrative against PS2 has been shifting a little bit, honestly. I've had a lot more people be willing to game one strike against me, and I'm sure that's the case like all around. Um, PS2 becoming a little less of the... Yeah, I just like here no matter what. Like, I, I don't care where you go game one. Let's go to PS2. I like to see that, to be honest. A little more free thinking here. Th these two guys, regardless, PS2, their stage of choice. And I'll smash Gatsby's kill option of choice if he takes the stock lead. And, and like I said, I'm a, I'm a big believer in stock leads, and, and Brandon does not have that stock lead right now. So let's see how he can operate with a character that's not super mobile, doesn't have the best approach odds due to, due to the lack of mobility, and at a deficit. What, what can Brandon do? To kind of force the issue and, and take the game back into his hands. Because right now, Gabe is doing a fantastic job of making sure that's not happening. Just stuffing up Zelda every approach, getting tons of damage when he gets in. It, it's looking really rough here. I'm not going to hold you. It's, it's looking really rough. That up smash would have spelled certain doom for, certain doom for Zelda, but instead, a wizard foot to the dough, going to even up the stock count. 2 to 2. 120% on the ZTN, though. He's really got to be careful. A Falcon kick to the ledge, a really rare option from Gabe. Don't see that that often. Jab, jab, up B. Ooh, wow. And Gabe really mixing on the ledge traps. He's really been ledge trapping super well today. It's, it's really working in his favor. And right now we have Gabe been up an entire stock, up an entire game in this winner's finals, potentially closing it out right here, right now, and gets his favorite combo start of the Raptor boost. Man, you know when Gabe gets those Raptor boosts and he's up, he feels like... Feels like no one can stop him. I'm not gonna hold you. Feels like no one can stop him because Falcon side of me is a ridiculous combo to one of our You just feel like, yes, yes, I got my combo started. Yes, I'm gonna hit you for 60%, 70%. Damn. Damn. That's raps. That's raps. Three one for Gatsby right there.